Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for August 22nd, 2024. What's up, sports fanatics? It's your daily sports rush from Sports Not, and boy, do we have a buffet of football flavor to serve up today. Grab your helmets and huddle up, because we're diving right into the act. Holy Rocky Mountain highs, folks. The Denver Broncos just handed their keys to their offense to a fresh face, wide-eyed rookie. That's right, Bo Nix, who might as well be Bo Peep, leading a flock of mile-high sheep, is stepping into the big boots of the Broncos legends of the past. This kid is the first rookie to start week one for Denver since John Elway. Yeah, that John Elway. Strapped on the orange and blue back in 83. And let me tell you, that's like being asked to follow the Beatles at Woodstock. No pressure, right? Sean Payton, the Broncos head honcho, must see something special in Knicks because he's comparing him to none other than Drew Brees. That's like comparing a rookie chef to Gordon Ramsay. Lots of potential, but one wrong move and the lamb's getting roasted, metaphorically speaking. With pocket awareness sharper than a Broncos Spurs and an arm like a cannon, Nix is ready to ride. Now, whether he's a stallion or just a show pony, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Broncos country is buckling up for one wild ride. From the Rockies to the Bay, we're talking about a man so big and so strong, he could probably bench press a Tesla. Trent Williams, a.k.a. The Wall, is still holding out, and Niner fans are biting their nails down to the quick. But fear not, because Deshaun Jackson just dropped a hint that our favorite left tackle might soon be back. According to Jackson, Williams has been working out like a madman, probably bench pressing those Teslas, while the 49ers figure out how many Brinks trucks they need to back up to his house. Apparently, they're close to a deal. So 49ers fans, you can stop hyperventilating into paper bags. Trent will be back to pancake defenders faster than you could say Super Bowl bound. Yeehaw, down in Dallas, it's contract showdown at the OK Corral. We've got C.D. Lamb, the receiver with hands stickier than a Texas barbecue rib, and Dak Prescott, the sheriff, slinging touchdowns like a gunslinger at high noon, both waiting to ink new deals. Jerry Jones is optimistic, and when Jerry's happy, we all know the Cowboys' checkbook is about to take a hit bigger than a linebacker on a blitz. Jerry's already offered Lamb a deal, juicier than a prime rib, just shy of $33 million a year. For Dak, well, that situation's a bit trying to, like, lasso a wild stallion. Tricky, but not impossible. Let's just hope they don't wait until the Cowboys are staring down a longhorn bull in week one. And down in Cincinnati, Jamar Chase is crunching numbers like a CPA during tax season. Rumor has it, he's looking for a deal worth $160 million. That's a lot of zeros, folks. But let's not forget, the guy is worth every penny. The Bengals might need to raid Fort Knox, but when it comes to keeping Joe Burrow's favorite target happy, you don't pinch pennies. You throw money at the problem like confetti at a ticker tape parade. Chase isn't even asking to be the highest paid receiver. But you know what they say, if you've got the talent, you might as well get paid like a king. And the Bengals, they bend over backwards to keep this crown jewel in since. All right, and that's your sports rush for today, folks. Keep those chin straps tight because this season's going to be a roller coaster. Make sure to check out sportsnot.com for more on these stories. And stay tuned, stay hyped, and we'll see you on the flip side.